All right, welcome back. And in this video, I'll be sharing how to transfer bitcoins, which you got it. Remember the Coinbase video, you know, video training? That's where you got your bitcoins. And you already opened the account with Poloniex. So we're going to transfer bitcoin from Coinbase to Poloniex now. Like every time, there is an attachment. Make sure you download that attachment so that you can follow every single step. You can watch the video and you can follow every single step on that piece of paper. So step number one, go to Coinbase and log into your Coinbase account. I'm sure you do remember all of those steps which were covered in the Coinbase video training. Step number two, once you're logged into the Coinbase, go to the accounts navigation tab in the Coinbase, as it's shown over here and also shown on the attachment. Next step is, now I'm gonna check for the Bitcoins, which you remember I bought for 20 Canadian dollar in one of the previous video training. Now, if you remember, I bought $20 just to show these steps and I always suggest you know, keep it to bare minimum and whatever the system allows in whichever country you are located, keep it to minimum like $20 or so. Don't go overboard unless you're fully confident. Now I'm going to send that, uh, you know, those Bitcoins to Polonius Exchange. Now why I'm sending to Polonius Exchange? Because I'm going to buy another cryptocurrency using that money. So... If I have to send money from here to here, I need the Poloniex exchange address so that I can take that address, put in in the Coinbase. And that's what I'm going to do. So the recipient in this case is the Poloniex, Poloniex exchange. So what I'm doing now, I'm logging into Poloniex exchange and I need that physical address. Why I'm saying physical? Because all that code, what the system is going to give it to me. And I'll take that and put it over here in the Coinbase. It's that simple. Nothing complicated, it's just that you need that way to communicate between these two systems. And the way to communicate is through you know, providing where you are sending. So you need like address, they, they are giving you address, take that address, put it over here in the system wherever you're transferring from. So on this screen now, uh, I'll transfer the Bitcoin so I would say, okay, click on that and click on the deposit link. And again, remember it's Bitcoin, nothing else I have. Now this is more than anything if I can convey over here, there's only one important thing I want to convey. You can only transfer Bitcoin to Bitcoin address. If you're transferring Bitcoin to Ethereum address, you're going to lose your money. If you want to transfer Ethereum over here in the uh, Poloniex exchange, you have to take Put, uh, you know, Ethereum address, Ethereum address in both locations. So make sure all the time the currency is same. The address is meant for that currency only and nothing else. Now, every single step is already captured over here. Every single step is already shown on the, uh, this is the important thing I want to talk about because you might lose money if you don't pay attention to this. So in this case, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, nothing else. Now, once you click on that deposit this money this money is going over here and it would show in the Poloniex exchange after some time so don't again panic oh where is my money gone it takes a little bit of time maybe five minutes ten minutes sometimes a little bit more and uh, once you come back to Poloniex you'll see that money has started showing you'll see immediately on the coinbase money is gone so these are simple things to follow. Make sure uh, you, know, you have gone through this kind of a mental process that everything is same over here and there's no mismatch. So once, and again, another important reminder is before you click on that transfer this money or deposit this money, uh, make sure you have checked everything twice or three times or four times so that there's no mismatch here. It's almost like a checklist for you. And also another important reminder is that every time you do anything in Coinbase, you remember 
your phone, your cell phone or mobile phone is linked. So it's, the system is going to give you a code which you need to put back into the Coinbase saying, yeah, it's me, nobody else. So there is not a hacker over here who's transferring this money. So as soon as you do all of those steps, these, these are the steps just to make sure that your account is protected. Again, I just want to remind you that transfer process, if you're doing this uh, from one system to another system, the biggest common mistake which people do is sometimes they transfer money, the Bitcoin from Bitcoin to Ethereum uh, physical address or, you know, and then their money is lost and they say, hey, system doesn't work. System properly works. The only thing you have to make sure is that it's same. If it's not same, you're going to lose money. Doesn't matter where that money is going. Nobody knows, but that would disappear. I think that's the important lesson or lesson learned I wanted to share with you and I wanted to remind and I would keep reminding that so that you don't make mistakes because I want to make sure you are protected. So now you got your money to buy any crypto investment in the Poloniex exchange. So now in a separate video, we're going to talk about how to buy. We're going to buy Ethereum over there. So we're going to see you over, see you over there in the next video.